What's up fam, it's P-Roy, welcome back to my channel. So I'll walk you guys through the products that I use majority of the time. So this could be kind of like my regimen, what I really use frequently. So you guys can see how I am keeping that moisture or what products I'm using to keep that moisture. All right, so for shampoo, there, I mean I have tons of shampoos, but you know, shampoo doesn't go as fast as conditioner. So it's gonna look more full, but what I'm loving right now is the Almond and Shea by Curly Bell. I did a review on this. If you want to check out that video, I'll make sure I link that in the description box below. I also did a thorough review of it on my blog, stillfeatherlaceelephant.com. So make sure you guys check that out. I love this stuff. It smells amazing and it keeps my hair, it, it seems very hydrating for my hair. It doesn't strip it. It doesn't feel like it's stripping my hair. It's easy for me to detangle during that process. I mean, that shampoo is amazing. I also like to use the Colorific Plumeria because it is, and this is by Alba, because it is specifically for color treated hair and especially dealing with like vibrant colors, which I have a vibrant red going on back here, even though it might not be picking up on camera now. If you see me in person, you know it is red. And then, you know, of course my blonde. So I wanna keep that really vibrant. I want people to, um, to know that I have those colors and they don't fade, you know? So I, I use that shampoo or this shampoo for that reason. I also love the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line by Shea Moisture. I love this shampoo. It really gets that grit and that dirt out. I mean, I've done a review on this as well, so you can go check that out too. And of course for my blonde, to keep my blondes bright and vibrant, I use the Shimmer Lights. And I only use this, I used to use this every two weeks, but actually I'm only using it like once a month now because I don't really need it that often. But you can see like my blonde is really vibrant and I'll just reach for it when I feel like it's looking dull or it just needs to pick me up. Now this deposits color tones in your hair. So it gives you like a cool tone instead of your hair being warm all the way. It tones it down for you. So it, it looks like a blonde versus and orange for my conditioner i really keep it simple i reach for pretty much the same thing every time it is the giovanni um, invigorating conditioner i got a huge bottle from marshall's it was 12.99 you can find this pretty much anywhere like target marshall's tj maxx they always have like big ones on hand you can even visit their website and see if they have other locations but i love that conditioner it's really easy just feels good on your scalp pump and put in and I just let that sit while I finish you know washing in the shower that serves as my conditioner in the shower and then when I get out of the shower then that's when I do my deep conditioning if you've been following me on deep conditioning and deep conversations then you've seen two of these I like to use the Jamaican black castor oil shea moisture uh, strength and grow and restore treatment that's one of my favorites I also hands down it's probably my absolute favorite is the beautiful uh, deep conditioning by Be Mine. It's amazing, like this stuff is, <laughs> this stuff is amazing and it's organic. So that's why I'm more drawn to it because I like to use, you know, organic or natural products on my hair. So I really, really, really like that. Also for the deep conditioner, I like the Banana Nut and Avocado Deep Treatment by Curly Bell. It smells so good, y'all. It smells really like banana nut bread. Mm, I just, mm, I just like it when I want to smell something really tasty, for real. Like that's why I like to use it. I mean, of course it does a good job, but I really like to use it when I just want to have that extra. Mm, oh, smells so good. And I also use the Superfruit Complex Ten in One, and this is by Shea Moisture as well. All of those give me a great deep conditioning session. They leave my hair very soft, very moisturized, like very moisture infused. And I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff after that because I know my hair from that deep conditioning session is gonna be extra moisturized. But like I said, I always, always follow up with a leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioners that I'm using right now are, you know, this is hands down my number one and it's actually almost gone. So that's why I have to reach for other things um, in the meantime. But the Giovanni Direct Leave-In is my absolute favorite. I've been using it ever since I was natural, which has been almost seven years now. It is the bomb, like 
Balm.com. I also like the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. Now this is more of a spray leave-in conditioner. So I like to use this when I refresh my hair, not necessarily when I initially do my hair because I like cream-based products for my hair. So I love to use this when it's time to refresh a style and I know I need that extra conditioning in there. And of course I'm not going to reach for a conditioner or a deep conditioner to put in my hair, but this stuff right here is so bomb and it smells so good. And I'm also loving, look I'm shaking it up, I'm also loving the Argan the Argan Buttermilk Leave-In by Cream of Nature. It is like, it looks like it's supposed to be heavy, but it's not heavy at all. It's really light on your hair. So I like this too. And it keeps the frizz down for my hair. So if I'm looking for a style that is not necessarily like frizz infused, like this one I love the frizz. I, I like how it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But if I'm looking for something like my, um, my defining my curls or something like that, I might reach for the buttermilk leave-in. Now for styling my hair, it all depends on what style I'm trying to create. You guys know I use various products to create those styles. You know, I work with a lot of different brands, so I use a lot of different products. But my go-to creme brulee, I just did a, a tutorial with this. So you guys go watch my defining my curls video um, that I just posted maybe last week. Check that out. I'm using this. This stuff, bomb. But I'm just going to let you go look and see for yourself. I also like the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I know it sounds like this is not a sponsored video. So I just don't want y'all to think it's sponsored at all. But I do really like the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I like this for heat styling. And it's not typical that I heat style. But when I do use a blow dryer or if I'm trying to do something that I need to, you know, do the tension method on my hair and blow dry my curls out, I'll use this. This is the first thing I reach for. And I just use it as a heat protectant slash styler but it, it works for me as you can tell because it's like almost gone the be mine behold curly butter I've used this in a few of my tutorials so far so make sure you guys go check out those tutorials I'll link everything below and I might have some cards floating around here so you guys can see but this stuff gives me the best bomb twist out so this twist out was created with this in conjunction with this like both of these products together this is the holy grail this is how my twist out looks so bomb this time and this is what day hair i think it's like five it's like five or six day hair and i didn't twist it for the past two days so this is what my definition looks like and i've been using these only these products for this style so you know and I don't think I mentioned what this was this is the jelly coconut styling gel by curly bell I've done product reviews on both of these so make sure you guys check those out I know I keep saying check those out but it's worth looking into so that you know exactly what these products do and how they perform and see if it's something for you see if it's something that you would be interested in and I like to use this jelly coconut yes for hold and everything but I also just like to use it as a gel because it holds well and it doesn't flake for me so I've retired my eco styler gel because I just don't feel like buying anymore I have this on deck so I've been using this lately and last but not least for my defining curls when I like to define my curls I like to use the curl enhancing custard by Obia this stuff you know I've been using this forever and it just it works amazing it works amazing now of course when I want to refresh my coils or curls, I also use the Curl Hydration Spray by Obia. And I have a video on that as well. So make sure you go check that out. You can see how I am refreshing my curls in that video and what I do. I mean, it's really easy. It's so easy to manipulate. When I use this, it just makes my curls just, I can move them and they don't look disturbed. You know how sometimes you move your curls around and it just gets frizzy? This doesn't do that for you. It leaves your hair still intact and it kind of helps to recoil them on themselves so it looks good. Once I style my hair and once I take down everything, there are a few products that I use just for the end result, final process. Okay, this is why it looks so bomb, even shiny per se. I take down my hair with oil. You can use any kind of oil that you love but I, you know, I'm in love with the Cream of Nature Argan Oil. You can see it, I'm pretty much out of it, so I need to go get some more. 
And I also reach for this hair serum by uh, Shea Moisture, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. Just because it's on deck, but you know, you can use any oil to take down your hair. And I just coat my hands with it, put it all over my hair, and then I start taking down my style. To preserve my style and to make sure that it kind of lasts throughout the day or a couple days, because you know I don't like to retwist my hair. It's just personal preference for me that I don't like to retwist my hair. But because I don't really like to retwist my hair and I want my style to stay, I always am reaching for this anti-humidity gloss and shine by Cream of, Na Cream of Nature. So far, like, I haven't found a product that can hold a candle to this stuff. I've sprayed my hair with it. I even take it with me, put it in a travel size so that I can have it with me when I go different places because it keeps that humidity from eating up my style. You know how it is when you're in a very humid place, your style can be gone because the humidity is just swallowed up that whole style. So those curls are not gonna last, that twist out is not gonna last. This gives me more wear, that it gives me more wear so that I can wear that style and it look good from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, at least, at least. And I can get more days out of it depending on where I am. You know, in Arizona it's not as humid, so I can get away with that. Um, opposed to, you know, being in Dallas, I was making sure that I twisted my hair or Atlanta or something like that. I was making sure that I twisted my hair and redid my hair at night just so it would not be looking a mess. And to lay my edges down, you can always use the Jelly Coconut. I do reach for that at times, but I also like two edge controls and the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. I like to use that. And I also like to use the Design Essential um, Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. So both of those are my favorite edge controls at the moment, either one of them will work just fine. I think I've answered every single question in regards to my hair color and how I keep it moisturized. Like I said, if I didn't, make sure you leave those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to keep up with me on all of my social media. I am Ask P. Roy everywhere. And I also run my own blog, stillfeatherlaceelephant.com. So make sure you stop by there and see more inspiration, get more inspiration, get more information. It's full of just a lot. I think you guys will be blown away if you go and, and visit it. So thank you so much. And until next time, fam, peace.